welcome back to Mars for another nature figure review. Today we're out in the woods up at the lake. We have Storm Collectibles Soul Calibur 6 Mitsuguri. Now I could be pronouncing that wrong and I do apologize. To be honest, I bought this figure on a whim. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but last night I did have a chance to take it out of the box and mess around with it and I am very impressed. As a matter of fact, Storm Collectibles is starting to become my favorite toy company on the planet right now. So I would expect more reviews of Storm Collectibles next year, 2024. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what all is going to be coming with Mitsugiri. For starters, you're going to get a total of three different head sculpts. And we're going to take a closer look here in a bit. Three head sculpts is a great start for this release. You're going to be getting a total of four pairs of hands. You have your default fist here, and then some additional hands here, as you can see. And then we have our katana down here, the very bottom, and it comes with a effect too, an effect for the katana. I think this is very great, a solid release. It's not giving too much, and it's not providing too little. So we're off to a good start. Now, I am going to show you this backdrop that does come with the figure as well. It looks pretty cool. Definitely Soul Calibur vibes. Now, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of Soul Calibur. I did try picking up the game. It is very complicated for me, and that's coming from a Tekken player. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take him out of the box, him out of the packaging, and get a closer look. Now that we have the figure out of the packaging, you can just already see the detailing that Storm Collectibles put into this figure. It looks phenomenal, at least for me. Now, Storm Collectibles, obviously, they're not known for their articulation with their figures, but the presentation and the detailing and the sculpting is just impressive, so impressive. I just really am starting to fall in love with Storm Collectibles. Now, let's go ahead and bring him in for a closer look here. As you can see, the detailing on the armor looks good. Right here, this back here, in which, to be honest, this reminds me a lot of um, Jin from Tekken. So I'm not sure what the correlation is. I don't know much about this figure or this character, but man, this figure is freaking very cool. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation with this figure. He can look down this much. He can look up this much. And that's very good. And he, he can lean side to side as well. Okay. You can twist too. I was blown away that he could do a T-pose. It's because of this material that they're using. Now I'm unsure whether or not you can remove this armor. I think you can, but it may result in you cutting it because beneath this armor you have this black attire here this black outfit and i think it would look super cool you even have these little bands here as you can see that is like the detailing they have with this figure so they have the bands here and i feel like you can take it off but i'm not entirely sure and i don't want to ruin it i don't want to ruin the figure so if anyone knows please comment below all right so i'm finishing up the review about to head out but I try to take the armor off and I can't take it off without like ripping it or cutting it or what have you. But there's one little detail I forgot to mention and that is actually here on the body. If you can see that, there is a scar here. So again, I am not sure if you can take the armor off but just the detailing again from Storm Collectibles super duper cool anyways let's continue the review oh. and tell me how to do it so he can hit the t-pose no problem uh the arm can even go all the way around as you can see here oh let me zoom them out real quick yeah so the arm can go all the way around i guess you just really have to be mindful of this sleeve right here it may pop out but other than that it's good all right, so he is single jointed. Really, it's double jointed, but because of the muscle definition, which again, looks incredible, there is some hindering there. Now this little bracelet here, this bead bracelet is movable. You can take it off if you wanted to. 
See, it comes off. Um, easy to put back on, the hands are. You have your bicep swivel as well. The wrist does rotate and it hinges as well. Now you can hear that squeakiness. That's just something that comes with Storm Collectibles. So if you know, you know. And then again, on this side, you have no issues, of course. Moving very smoothly. All right. So you can actually put the katana here and it doesn't hinder much of anything. And I think that's brilliant. I'm gonna put that here on the side. Let's see, here on the back, you can see the back looks so damn good. This moves around as well. And I know it may feel like it's loose, but it doesn't pop out unless you pull it out. You, and you can pull this out, of course. Now going into the ab crunch, he can tuck in this much, which it's more of a lean, not really a tuck. And then going backwards, here he goes here. Okay. It's when we get to the legs that you kind of realize the articulation in the legs maybe could have been better, but hey, I'm digging it. I think it's great and it's appropriate for the figure. So he can hit that 90 degrees. Well, it's not a true 90, but it can get up there. It's when we get down here to the knees that you can see like, yeah, that's as far as it goes. Nothing too crazy. You're still going to be able to hit those poses. But then that's going to be it. And then for the feet, it does extend out a little bit. You do have some toe pivot here as well. And you've got some rocker movement as well. And let's see, for a leg swivel, nothing really going on for any kind of leg swivel. Okay. You can hit the split too. Split is perfect. And yeah, that's gonna cover it for the articulation. Aesthetically, this figure looks incredible. Really digging the aesthetic of this figure. I think it worked out great. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the accessories, starting off with the head sculpt. The first head sculpt that we're going to get with this figure is going to be his stern faceplate, and it looks really good, highly detailed, and much better than previous head sculpts I've seen from Storm Collectibles in the past. Next up, we have his teeth grinning head sculpt. And then lastly, we have his yelling head sculpt. All look great, all look phenomenal. Now let's go ahead and move into the pairs of hands. First off, we have our closed fist. Then we have our katana wielding hands. We have our sheath holding hands for his katana. And then lastly, we have our styling hands for his katana attacks and so on. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and cover our only two accessories. Okay, so here is our katana. Now, I don't know if there is a specific name for this katana or not. I know the character himself is like a great swordsman and a great blacksmith. And you can actually do this here. Booyah, look at that. Looking really good. So we can get a closer look here. Super cool. And then here we have the, the sheath, I believe it's called. I do like the purple. Purple is my favorite color. So I love how the hill and all that stuff is purple. The handle is purple. Now with this, you actually are going to be getting this cool slash effect as well. And it just works. You just slide it in here. And there you go, just like that. Now this is going to be it for all of the accessories that he comes with. A solid release, you know, again, it's not too much and it's just the appropriate amount to be a great release. But that out of the way, let's now get into the conclusion. All right, everyone, to conclude this review, if it hasn't been obvious, this is a solid release, especially coming from Storm Collectibles starting off their Soul Calibur 6 line. There is another figure out there as well, the female known as Taki. And I'm not know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but um, so far I am super impressed with this release, so I may have to pick it up. Comment below and let me know if that's a figure you would like to see me review out here in nature on Mars. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing, drop that like, and yes, I do recommend this figure. This figure is super cool, especially for all you Soul Calibur fans out there. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you all next time. Peace.